Hello everyone and welcome to this new session on using Civil 3D for importing XYZ data. If you have done, for example, a topographical survey for an area and you have data on an Excel sheet to represent the measured points, easting, northing and elevation, and now you'd like to import them into Civil 3D so that you can prepare a plan or create a 3D surface, etc. So let's say, for example, guys, that we have this Excel sheet. I have done some survey. I've got some measurements here. I have here just 40 points. Here in the first column, I have the easting. In the second column, I have the northing of the points. And here I have the elevation or the reduced level of the points. And here's some description. You can give it the description that you like. Building corner, center line of a road, the topographic point, one, two, three, etc. This is a description you can provide the description that you need. The important thing, guys, before you start importing this data into Civil 3D, you need to make sure that your Excel sheet is being saved as CSV format. Here, go to File, and then Save As here, and then make sure here that the data is being saved as CSV. Once you are happy with this, just click Save. Now um, you are happy, your uh, data has been saved as CSV. Now you can go to Civil 3D to import the data. I opened Civil 3D, guys. I will go here on the top bar to insert. Okay, guys, can you see here on the top? I will go to insert, and then from here, I'm going to pick points from file. Points from file. And then I will click here. Now we have to add or to create, for example, from here, guys, you would have the manage format. We would like to add the format that we have for our file. As you remember, the file contains easting, northing, elevation, and description of each point. From here, guys, I would create a new file. And then from here, I would pick user point file. This one, and then OK. And from here, I will give it a name. Let, let me say I will call it easting, northing, Z and then D for description. So it would be Easting, Northing, Z and D for description. This is the name of my format. And here, in the extension, I would say it is CSV. And here, in the format options, I would say here it is a comma. You would add comma here, CSV. And that's it just after that. Okay. Now I have the new one that I have just created. It's called the new point file formats, which represents the format of my file. So my file again would contain easting and then northing and then elevation or Z and then a description for each point. Now and then I will close this one. And here in this list here, specify point file format, I would pick my format go down here this is my format and now i will add my excel sheet from here add guys i would go to my excel sheet for example it's here survey point i would double click and here you go i have here some the points here easting northing etc so i have my file now now guys you would add the points to point group to create the surface you would add the points to a point group yeah and then from here from here to the right here just one click and then you will give this group of points a name okay i will call it for, call it for example my surface and then i'll click ok here if you would like to do some adjustment if possible to the elevation you can pick this however the important thing here if you would like to add the points to one group to create a group I created a, gr a group of these points called my surface and now I've done everything. I'll click OK. Now I added the point, but I can't see anything until now. OK, just double click in the, on the middle button of the mouse or the uh, scroll wheel. Just double click, you would see all of your points and then you can zoom in and zoom out. So these are your points, guys. These are the points that I have just added, imported very simply, guys. I've done my task now, which is importing X, Y, Z. Now, this is the point one. And for example, this is point one, and this is its elevation. Okay. And this is the point. If you would like to add 
more description or remove the elevation you can from properties you can do this and adjust this later on based on your knowledge in AutoCAD but now my aim in this just to let you know how to import an Excel sheet okay now we have the points for example let's say that some of these points represent the center line of a road for example and then your aim is to draw the center line simply go here to the home and then pick the line here for example if you would like to use straight lines between each two points okay just from go from point to point for example this is my road look at the snap I activated the snap and then for example this is my road when I finish I would click enter now for example let's say this is my road if this is a building here and then I would like to draw a rectangle or multi line or a line just go here for example to draw let's say that this is my building here and then enter this is my building this is my road if you have grass area here etc if this is a plan okay but these are topographical survey points and our aim now is to create a surface from these points yeah so let me just uh, delete what I have just done here in terms of the roads and the building okay so these are our points I'm now going to explain how to create a surface from these points guys if you look here at the left I need to use the tool space the tool space if you can't find this bar to your left just it is here on the top the tool space just you need to activate the tool space and then here this is my drawing it's called drawing six for example and then I have here point groups okay do you remember that we created a point group called my surface now here I will open this from this plus here I have my surface I have all points and this is my surface here guys just right click on this and then go to the properties of my surface these are the properties of my surface the important thing that you need to do is to go here to elevation only and the point label I would like to label the elevation only for example not the description here elevation and description description the number of the points in my case but I need just for example the elevation or none I don't need anything it's up to you guys to play around this yeah so I would add for example the elevation value and here to the right if you go here guys press down this one and then if I would like to adjust the height of the text I'm just here trying to show you that you can do a lot in terms of final representation of your work okay so here for example the text height this text guys is 2.5 for example I would make it 2 that's fine just write down 2 here and then apply it's a smaller a bit yeah you can just play around here and then you are happy with it okay elevation only yeah again here if you would like to display the elevation value next to each point pick elevation only if you'd like to display the elevation and the description the point number etc pick this one or if you don't like to display anything just pick this one etc yeah so I'm now I will apply and okay okay guys now I need to create my surface how to do this go to the left to the tool space here and then you would see surfaces yeah just on surfaces just right click and then create surface create surface you would have this window just okay now my surface is being created but I can't see it yet I can't see any control lines or surface representation go to the tool space to the left again and this plus next to surfaces just one click here and you have surface one uh, one click here you have down here definition one click here to expand these so just you need to expand everything here under surfaces to see all of your points and here I can see that I have point groups yeah this is a point group I would add my surface right click on point groups guys and then add it's asking me what you aim to add I would add my surface the group that I created okay and then I would click OK and here you go I created this surface you can see the control lines here of course this is a small project guys I have just 40 points you might have thousands or uh, more than that uh, it depends on, on the size of your project but this is the same principle and then you can 
play around the presentation of your project, the final presentation. Yeah, but this is how to create a surface from the imported points from Excel sheet. I hope that was useful to you guys. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy the rest of your time. Bye now.